Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I wanted to do a top five video of foods to try when becoming a vegetarian or thinking about becoming a vegetarian. I'm actually a real vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for about five years now, whereas some of these other people, they be a vegetarian for like five days and be like, oh yeah, I'm a vegetarian. Or I've heard people say, yeah, I'm a vegetarian, but I eat chicken, fish, all that good stuff on the weekend. No, you're not a vegetarian. You're a meat eater who acts like a vegetarian. But whatever, it's okay. <laughs> this video is for people who, I know it's like a new thing right now where you wanna like become a vegetarian, eat healthier or whatever. Um, so you're getting real live tips from a real vegetarian. Who better else to do it but me? So, First um, menu on the item that you should definitely try when becoming a vegetarian. Also, wait, I wanted to say that becoming a vegetarian, you don't only have to eat salad. You don't only have to eat like macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and a whole bunch of sides. And then you, because when you do that, you never, like you despise being a vegetarian and you'll be a meat eater literally like in a week. So... I came up with the top five foods that you should really try and this will ease you into becoming a vegetarian and you really may like it. So first, I'm going to start out with mm, these Gardein Porkless Bites. These are so good. Okay, now they're sweet and sour too, so you get a little Asian feel to it. Um, I usually like steep some rice with it. I cook it up, I put onions, peppers, chop them up real nice, and then this also comes with a sweet and sour sauce. Mmm, doesn't that look so good right there? Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so what you wanna do is, you saute up, it literally takes like eight minutes. Saute it up, some onions, peppers, and all that good stuff, and then once it's cooked, then you add the sauce, stir it all up, steam your rice, put your rice on a plate, and then Put your stuff over top of it. It's so good. Um, it definitely, if you're in that like Asian feel and you don't know um, like what to what to eat, definitely do this. This is so good. Okay, number two is a veggie sausage. Uh, veggie, veggie. Oh my god! Like <laughs> veggie sausage is so good. Um, you definitely will not miss meat. Now I have two different brands, this brand and I have these meatless. Ooh. Mm, it looks so good. It, it tastes so good too. Um, so what I usually do with the, I like, I actually like these better and my boyfriend actually likes the morning star better. Um, I don't like these. These don't really have a lot of flavor. Um, but these have like a little smoky maple-ish flavor to them that actually really good so try both this is trader joe's morning star you can find this probably in any grocery store um target or rouse if you're in cali but usually what i do with these is i cook these with eggs um and with these you definitely have to season 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 that's the only thing with tofu and all that good stuff is if you don't season it it'll taste like really bland and then you'll be like f being a vegetarian i hate this life so you definitely have to season salt, pepper, garlic, all that good stuff. And you may have to over season it a little bit too. So um, also, like I said, I do eggs and sausage or I do a sausage, egg and cheese sandwich on like a sourdough, sourdough bun or biscuit. Ooh, so good. Um, Cause every now and then I get that McDonald's biscuit egg and cheese thing in my mouth like ooh, I really could use that and then I thought ooh, I'll just make it a veggie friendly option so definitely try this out um, I'll, again I'll put all the details in the um, in the description so you know where to so you after this video you can go get them um, next is morning star corn dog now You've seen some Morningstar stuff already. Morningstar is really like the premier brand. They really started out with all this like vegetarian um, options, but it tastes like meat. You don't really miss meat a lot. Um, so this is another one. This is a corn dog. Oh my God, it's so good. You would never, ever, ever know that this is not real sausage or pork or beef or whatever you would not know this is not a real hot dog it's so good and then it has a cornbread 
uh, breading on it, so it tastes really good. Sometimes I dip it in ketchup, sometimes I don't do anything, I just eat it plain. It's really, really good. You should try this. Morning Star. And all this stuff literally gets not that expensive. Like, I think this is like maybe like four, like four dollars right now. And you get four come in a box. Um, literally, these will be gone in like a second. I don't even buy these no more because we eat these super, super, super fast. But definitely try these corn dogs. Really, really good. A really good snack too when you're hungry. Okay, next we have... Mm, chipotle style chipotle, oh my god chipotle, chipotle style seating now these are like little tofu strips um and sometimes they come in cubes as well um like on the box here they have it in salad you can like add some meat to your salad to have a more heartier salad um what i usually do is i like do like a little stir fry where i like chop it all up like I said, put some onions and all that stuff and then put it over some rice. It's really, really good. But also, keep this in mind that you definitely cannot eat some of this stuff whole. Like how they have like the whole strip right there. Like you can't eat it whole. You have to like chop it up because sometimes veggie protein is not the best tasting when you put a lot of it in your mouth. You literally have to chop it up really small. Um, and eat it like that. Like I said, I want to give you a heads up because this is stuff that other people, vegetarians, won't tell you when you are like trying to get out of meat and trying to try something different. Because it'll just turn, I already know, you, it'll just turn you off so quick and you'll be like, oh, I can't do this. But so chop it up really small and um, like on your salad here, don't eat the whole strip. It's not really that good. And you definitely want to get, like I have this Chipotle style. You definitely want to get something that's already like smothered in something or already like seasoned already so the juice is already in there so it has a lot of flavor. All right. And last but not least in our veggie journey is Flame Grilled Veggie Burgers by Boca. Um, now they have like a few different versions, versions of this, but definitely I would recommend the All American Flame Grilled. It tastes like some down south southern grilling up stuff it tastes really good oh and then you have to when your burger's all done and you cook it all up put some cheese on it and then do some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce on that or do ketchup my boyfriend likes ketchup on the burgers and ketchup on nuggets like how like how do you do that barbecue sauce all the way barbecue sauce um, on your burger and on your nuggets. And by the way, Morningstar also has this brand right there. Morningstar also has veggie nuggets and veggie like buffalo style boneless wings that are really good too. So definitely try all this stuff out and let me know what you think. I swear to you, these are the top options when you're like, okay, I want to eat healthier, so to speak. Um, and I want to try going vegetarian for a couple days and see how it goes. You don't, like I said, have to do macaroni and cheese or salads all day long. You can try some of these foods. Don't be scared. Season, season, season. And add some sauce, flavoring, good stuff. It'll taste much better. So let me know what you think. And definitely don't forget to subscribe and thumbs it up um, and do all that good stuff. All right.